Good morning, my name is Sean, and in this video I'd like to review some connective tissues. So we're going to start with the handout, and we're going to start with areolar connective tissue right here. So what I've got on the microscope is I've got some areolar connective tissue at 400x, and our first fiber that we need is collagen fiber. So if I tweak my fine adjustment, you can see these thicker, non-wavy non fibers coming into focus. These are the collagen fibers. If I tweak my fine adjustment a little bit more, I've got some real fine fibers that are more wavy and branching. These are the elastic fibers. And the dark staining spots here is what we're going to call the nuclei of the fibroblasts. So there's some nuclei of the fibroblasts right there. And then everything in between, or you could think of as the background, is going to be the matrix. Next, we'll look at adipose tissue, which is our next tissue type and you're responsible for adipocyte, fat vacuole, and nucleus. So I've got some adipose tissue here at 400x and this outline right here is the individual cell. This is the adipocyte. And everything in, in the middle of the cell is the fat vacuole. And then the dark staining structure which is always pushed up against the edge of the cell or the cell membrane, that's your nuclei of the adipocyte. So there's your adipose tissue. Our next tissue type is dense fibrous connective tissue and you're responsible for collagen fiber bundles and nuclei of the fibroblasts. So here we are at 400x and you can see this is a very, uh, the fibers are very parallel and so this little white space in here, this is all just open space between the fibers. So think of this like a little strand of thread. And these dark staining structures are the nuclei of the fibroblasts and these little bundles are the collagen fiber bundles. Here is another slide of dense fibrous connective tissue just for comparison and I wanted to show you that you can still see the white spaces in between the bundles and you can still see the dark straining, dark staining um, nuclei of the fibroblasts. So take a look at this slide too and make sure you can recognize this tissue type. Our next tissue type is bone supportive connective tissue and you're responsible for osteon, osteocytes and lacuna, canaliculi and central canal. So here I am at 100x and what I want to show you here is that we have these overall functional units. These are the osteons. And so you can see an osteon right here, you can see an osteon right here, and you can see an osteon right here. And you have to be zoomed out to be, be able to see these pretty well. So now let's take a look at some of the structures in an individual osteon. So if we take a look at the center here, you can see this dark staining structure. This is at the center of the osteon. This is your central canal. And then arranged in sort of like rings around the, the central canal, you have your osteocytes, which are darkly staining on these slides, and they are in their little spaces called lacuna. So we say that they are osteocytes in lacuna. And then radiating out from the central canal, you have these real, real light, fine, wispy lines. These are called the canaliculi, and they carry blood from the central canal out to the osteocytes. Our next tissue type is hyaline cartilage, <clears throat> and you're responsible for chondrocytes and lacuna and matrix. So here we are at 100x, and you can see this nice band of cartilage right through here and each of these little spaces is your chondrocyte and its lacuna and the pink surrounding the spaces is your matrix. So you may see it in this view at 100x. You also may see it in this view at 400x. And so you can really see the chondrocytes now. And um, there's an actual chondrocyte and there, the space around it is the lacuna so we just say chondrocytes and lacuna. And everything surrounding that, the pink in this case, is the matrix that proteoglycan matrix. Our next tissue type is blood and this is our fluid connective tissue and we're, we're responsible for plasma, erythrocytes, leukocytes, nucleus of leukocytes, and platelets. So here we are at 100x and you can see pretty much just a sea of pink with some darker dots in here. So if I now move up to 400x we can see a little bit more detail and so the pink, all these pink little bubbles, these are the erythrocytes. 
the dark staining structures right here and here, these are the nuclei of the leukocytes. So if your pointer is pointed right here during your test and the question says name this cell, it would be leukocyte. If it says name this structure, it would be nucleus. And then all the white space in here is plasma, just the background or the matrix of this tissue. And then these small dark dots right here, these are platelets. So I hope this video has been helpful for reviewing the connective tissues.